The AH and JD trial is finally winding down and now the jury has to deliberate. But while the testimonies have concluded, social media has been exploding overnight because of the final day and everything that's happened over the past few weeks. And I want to talk about a few key moments from over the past few days. Specifically, Amber saying that Kate Moss and others came out of the woodworks for attention and now everyone thinks that she's thrown her case after admitting the op-ed was about JD. So I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support Support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Daily Mail article. It says you didn't expect Kate Moss to testify, did you? Your lies have been exposed to the world. Johnny's lawyer Camille Vasquez eviscerates Amber Heard for perjury in tipping off the paparazzi. Now, I have watched this case every single day that it has been on. I've been following information on social media. And the last few days have been a wild ride. But I just... I have so much respect for Camille and Johnny's lawyers because they have truly eviscerated Amber's narrative. It says Amber was subjected to brutal cross-examination by Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez, whose previous interrogation of the actress turned the attorney into a legal star. And it's true, Camille's name has been trending on social media. So many people have been talking about her. I mean, for right now, she is extremely popular, and there are a lot of people who are supporting her, saying she's just an amazing woman. It says Vasquez asked her Thursday, your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, and Heard responded, I haven't lied about anything, and I mean the lie detector has determined that that is a lie. Vasquez asked, when you told this jury you punched Mr. Depp because you thought of Mr. Depp pushing Kate Moss down the stairs, you didn't expect Miss Moss to testify that never happened? And Heard replied, incorrect, I knew how many people will come out of the woodwork to support Johnny. It's like Amber truly and genuinely thought that people would hate Johnny after the accusations that she made with absolutely no proof publicly. It's like she thought that people were just going to read the statements she put out and go, oh my gosh, poor her, how could we ever support or believe Johnny, which is definitely not what happened. And she hates that. Heard was pressed about why so many other people came out and testified for Depp. She said, I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. I don't know the truth. That's his power. That's why I wrote that op-ed. He is a very powerful man and people love currying favor with powerful men. And this right here is why people think she threw her case. She admitted that she wrote the op-ed with him in mind because he's a very powerful man. Thousands upon thousands of people are going crazy on social media over this statement by her. And I wanted to read a few posts. Somebody said Amber Heard just admitted she wrote the op-ed about Johnny, which is what the trial is about. Camille the Scorpion Vasquez struck perfectly. Holy moly, that is grade a work. The brilliant Camille literally tickled Miss Heard into admitting on her own words, that's why I wrote the op-ed, because I'd be speaking of that phenomenon, how many people will come out in support of him, there goes your defamation right there. Defense, Miss Heard did not write the op-ed herself. Amber, I wrote the op-ed. Their whole defense was based on her not writing the piece. This is done over 20 4,000 likes. People saying, it's over, case closed. Camille just got Amber to admit on the stand not once but twice that she wrote the op-ed and it was about Johnny. This is a defamation case about that op-ed. Heard failed the assignment. Not only did Amber admit that she wrote the op-ed about Johnny, but she admitted that it was to hurt his powerful image. 
somebody said, oh damn, she admitted the op-ed was about him. LMAO, so Amber Heard goes from saying she didn't write the op-ed to that's why I wrote the op-ed. It's the inconsistencies for me. Hashtag Amber is a liar. Amber versus JD. Which one is it, Miss Heard? Uh, for the record, Johnny never had to enlist me to make fun of Amber Turd and her legal team. As a sane person, I came to that decision all on my own. If I've learned anything from the trial, it's that Amber is a terrible, terrible actor. And it's true. She tried to force herself to cry so many times through the trial, and there was nothing there. I mean, attempts 42, actual tears, zero. She is such a bad actor, I think. It's hilarious. And if we even look at what's happening, uh, on the right side, it says, trending right now hashtag justice for johnny depp hashtag amber heard is a psychopath there are no supporters uh, on social media talking about amber i feel like they haven't gotten her name to trend in a positive way once throughout this trial there's also this insider article that says Amber says she's not surprised Kate Moss and others came out of the woodwork to testify for Johnny. That's his power. Now, the hilarious thing here is that she's basically calling Kate Moss an attention seeker, which is absurd. Okay, Kate Moss is worth 48 to $50 million. If you say the name Kate Moss, everyone knows who you're talking about. But Amber is only worth $2.5 million. I mean, that is it, according to all of these websites that track celebrity net worths in 2022. It is absolutely pathetic that Amber would think that Kate Moss would have to come out of the woodwork and defend Johnny simply for attention. She could make a single post on social media and get millions and millions of views, clicks, likes. I mean, Amber, you're looking a bit desperate here. She is desperate to get people on her side by saying, oh, he's a terrible, awful person, and because he's a powerful man, he can get anyone to say anything that he wants, which, of course, is absurd. But Amber is not walking out of this with the popularity that she was hoping. She thought everyone was going to love her and respect her after this, but everything has just gotten worse and worse for her. Her name has not trended on social media in a positive way at all doesn't seem like anyone's really defending her and after hearing the testimonies and seeing all of the things that she did yeah she seems like an even worse person than i thought that she was i do not see a way for amber to fix her image at this point i think that she has made herself look like a liar a psychopath a generally terrible person and a lot of people are on johnny's side right now when we have more information about this trial i will definitely make more videos on it or talk about it in live streams to update you all but for right now that's all that i had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed please make sure to give it a like share and subscribe to the channel and of course if you didn't make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon